Anytime. Five, four, three, two, one. Hello, my name is Michael Gibson and welcome to my kitchen. I am a graduate of Johnson & Wales University with the Food Service Management Program, summa cum laude. And today we're gonna to be preparing one of my dishes. It's a wild Alaskan salmon with lemon, lime, zest, and juice. And we're gonna get this on the pan right here and we're also going to throw in some onion and mm. some chopped shallot. So let's take the salmon over to the pan. Add a little butter. A little creaminess with the flavor. And the olive oil. To cut the smoke point, we want, don't want to burn anything, but that pan is nice and hot. It's got good cooking going on. Good flavor. Place it in on skin side down. We'll get a nice color. Great presentation for the plate. As that's cooking up, you might want to turn it up a little bit. Oh yeah, see that ball? That's that water. We didn't dry it out enough, you know. We have great color right here, right now. Salmon is cooking lovely. Alrighty, so we're going to take this off. And for time purposes, we're going to have a plate over here already prepared. Right here, we'll plate that up, grab our salmon out the oven. And this plate is oh so gorgeous and delicious. We have the earth here, we have the sea represented by the land as well. With the polenta, which we cooked up, with chicken stock, salt and pepper and three cheese, Reggiano, Parmesan, and Romano. Okay, so now we have our sauce here, which we put together with some tarragon, vinegar, capers, give a nice bitter. Taste. So we're going to nappe it right over the salmon. Oh my goodness, look at that. Woo! That is happy endings right there. Oh my goodness. And right here we have the sautéed shrimp, nice and caramelized with the broccoli rabe, capers, nappe with the sauce and the salmon, cooked just perfectly. It's a rustic, delicious, hearty, French style type. Good Hello, my name is Michael Gibson, culinary enthusiast, graduate of Johnson & Wales University Food Service Management, been cooking generationally for over two decades now, and today we're going to prepare a salmon, wild salmon, Alaskan salmon, with uh, marinated in a citrus blend of lemon, lime, salt, and pepper. We have right here, I've also chopped some onion, small dice, as well as some shallot, good garlicky flavor. We're going to get this on into our pan right over here. Let me put it in a little pat of butter. The pan is at a nice smoking point, along with some olive oil for the salmon and one for the polenta. Throw this pan around a little bit. Woo. That'll come out nice and quick. And now we're going to add the polenta as well. Just to it, you know, as we would say it in the cell. Get that sauteed in. Get a nice sear on the salmon here. Very nice. Great color right there. Cooking rather fast, so we'll slow that down. The polenta will take a little bit longer. We're going to do a nice white cream sauce with the shallot. So what we'll do is place this on the side here. That is done. And for time's sake, we have uh, placed one in the oven. Already prepared. We'll get that ready. A little hot. Place it right here. And now we'll get those onions and shallots in there really quick. Nice smoking pan. With the shallot as well. Salt and pepper added to it already. Give a great flavor. Oh, that smells so good. Good cooking is what I'm talking about from scratch. Get that nice and seared up. And over here we have a little shrimp stock. I've taken the shells from the shrimp we're going to place into the dish. Oh my goodness, the smell of that is delicious. And look at the blend, it's cooking up very well. Caramelized nice. 
the onion and the shallot, add a little more salt. You want to get a nice quick sauce to go along with the citrus and the uh, shrimp and the salmon. Very nice. We're going to allow that to cook down for the flavor to concentrate, you know. You want good, strong, flavorful flavor. Now this polenta seems like it's cooked. You see how it's browned on the sides a little bit. We'll take a quick look at it. Oh, we got a nice brown over there. We'll get a nice and warm look on the other side. Turn that down real quick. As that cooks down, we're going to deglaze with some tarragon vinegar. That will get up any little bits and add a nice little flavor to it. That tarragon, nice, soft, flavorful. So now we will add some heavy cream. Turn that down. Get that mixed in there very well. We're going to have a nice sauce. We're going to keep it nice and hearty and delicious. With a little bite to it, as some would say. We'll cook that down. Our polenta is done, so we'll take that off the stove. Get it ready for plating. And bring that up to a little higher heat. We're going to add the shrimp here at this point. Shrimp won't take but a few minutes to cook. So we're going to cook that sauce down, and then we're going to pat it with a little bit of butter and add some capers to give it a nice little bite. Exactly what we're looking for in this dish. Just created by me, you know, one day. I had the ingredients in the kitchen because I'm collecting ingredients all the time. From all over the world, I love to cook. So I'm taking a trip around the world, as one would say. <laughs> right in my kitchen. <laughs> So here we go. Those shrimp are starting to get pink, which just means they're almost done. We'll turn this up a little bit. There we go. So we can condense it down and just bring out the real good flavorfulness. You know, we got the sea in there. We got some of the earth from the uh, onions and the shallots. So that looks about done. Oh, yeah. Beautiful sauce. We're going to add a little butter to give it some shine and sheen. And plus flavor. You know, we're cooking French style today, y'all. <laughs> There we go. Look at that. Get that butter melted. Take it off the heat so we don't break the sauce. Nice. Nice, nice. Let's give it a little taste. See if you need to add any salt or pepper. Mmm, okay. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Get that cooked down so we got it up to a nice bubble again. Nice, a nice boil, a little simmer going on. Add a little bit of pepper. Taste one more time. Give it a nice stir. Those shrimp have just popped and come together. Lovely. Oh my goodness. Mm, that is lovely. Very lovely. So we're going to begin plating now. I have my sauce here. Get my utensil. What we'll do here, we'll place the polenta down. We're going to add the broccoli rabe, which was boiled in hot water in an ice bath to cool it down and stop the cooking because we want a nice, good, rich green color. But this is going to add our earthy flavors. Right there, like that. The salmon across here. And we're going to place our shrimp right around the dish in that beautiful cream sauce with the capers, shallots and onions and the shrimp stock. What do you want me to do? Okay, the kids are playing today. They can't wait to get to this meal right now. Delicious. Now we'll nap pay it. Give it a little sauce so everything gets a little bit of flavor. And voila, we have it. wild salmon with cream infused with tarragon, capers, shallot, and onions, broccoli rabe, and shrimp with capers. Mmm, delicious. Gibson and I have a passion for food, which I got through my mother, father, and grandmother. And my passion was so great, I decided to attend Johnson & Wales University, where I graduated with a bachelor's in food service management. And today we'll be cooking up some broccoli rabe 
which is kind of scary, but a delicious vegetable full of vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. And pretty much we're going to drop this in a boiling bath of hot water that has been salted previously. Let that cook down, which will take about 10 minutes. And now we're going to get started on cutting our onion. We'll dice this down, which we're going to add to a nice little marinade and a little bit for the broccoli rab. And we have, we'll be having salmon as well. Alaskan salmon, which is full of omega, omegas, which are uh, healthy fatty acids, which are good for the brain and skin and other things. And so next, we're just going to cut this onion up real quick. Give it a nice little small mince. And add this right here to our little bowl. Push that right to the side. We're going to get some shallot mixed in there, which has like a little bit of garlic in it, a little onion flavor, some spice, and add good spice to our dish. We'll just break this, cut this right in half, peel off the skin, and chop it down to a nice fine dice. We're going to make a nice heavy cream sauce for our salmon with a little bit of Shrimp. I'll show you how to be clean. You could add a little water to these to cut down on the cheering effect to your eyes. It's getting to me right now. Oh my goodness. Very gaseous. And our shrimp pretty much. You just split right down the middle and then we would rinse it under the water to get the vein out. And then we'll just peel each one. Add it to the bowl and we'll marinate that with the citrus marinade as well. And our heavy cream sauce will just give it a good balance again. And we'll pop those skins right off. And we'll be adding about five to this dish. Oh, I'm tearing up terribly. Oh my goodness. But we're having fun cooking from scratch. That's what I do. Pop that all. We're going to work here with the salmon. This is Alaskan salmon, as I said before. We'll slice this up. It's about four to five ounce slices, portion sizes. Right there, and also we're going to be having polenta, which I had pre-made already, pretty much in a chicken stock, uh, three times the water to the polenta. And we have little pin bones right here in our salmon. Sometimes we'll like to pick those out, so no one has to wrestle with those. But we want to season our salmon, pepper, a little bit of salt, both sides of course. Let's get a little on our shrimp. Pepper, a little bit of salt. Here we go. We'll let these sit to the side here while we uh, wipe up our bowl and we get a towel. We definitely do not want to cross contaminate. We don't want anyone getting sick. Clean this off. Place this right over here. Nice clean board. We'll roll this. Oh, let me wash my hands. Looks like our broccoli rub is doing pretty good. We'll toss that around, make sure. And we have a nice bath on the side to cool it down. And then we'll re saute that for the end product of the dish. Well, we have to get some zest. <laughs> Keep going. Alrighty. We're gonna zest this off because the oils and the skin have a lot of flavor. We're gonna add the juice as well. 
This is gonna go bang pow in your mouth. All zested up. Let's grab our line. Zest this up real quick. This is a dish I just created. You know, putting different food groups together. I like to work with fruits, vegetables from around the world. I'm constantly going to different markets to find something to work new with. So we will split this in half. Add this to the zest. Salmon, let that gently marinate really quickly. We can probably let this stand maybe for 10 15 minutes along with the shrimp, which we will saute very shortly. Let's get this pan fired up. We have our grill pan going for the polenta. So now with the polenta, we will add a little oil. We'll give good caramelization on there. Yes, indeed. Just rub it around. Add a little oil, extra virgin olive oil, of course. Very good and healthy for you. Up here we go as the pan gets ready for our salmon, marinated with the lemon, pepper, and salt. Oh, look at that. We got it going. I'm going to have to turn the fan on before we start smoking With our salmon, we will be cutting up the butter and that little olive oil. Normally, you could use clarified butter, but to save one time, we're just going to add a little bit of butter. Get that going. A little quick rinse. And then we'll add the uh, olive oil, because the smoke point of butter is so low, we start a really big fire. Now, look at this blend. It is going fast. Wonderful. Give it a quick turn. And I can smell it. I can tell it's getting nice and caramelized right now. Alright, I think we'll turn that down. Maybe even ready to plate this. We're looking for good grill marks, but I see it stuck a little bit. But we need a little bit more time. We actually have a few grill marks there. And our pan is nice and hot for the salmon. Almost ready. We want to get a little bit of the smoke point so we get nice caramelization. So we're going to add the salmon. Pull this off. Grill marks aren't exactly what I wanted. Like it's nice and cooked. The blend is, blend is creamy, delicious. Just like grits, comedy grits, like people would say in the South. As we put our salmon face down, we want to get a nice brown caramelization on there. And then we're going to pop it in the oven to keep it warm while we make our sauce. Pull it gently, cook it as the sauce cooks. Now our salmon, give it a little browning of the butter here. Oh, nice color right there. Beautiful. That'll last a while. Pop salmon, not full of. Too much mercury, just good, wholesome, delicious food from here. Let's see, that should say. Alrighty, that's picking up very well. What we're going to do is transfer this salmon in a couple minutes. It doesn't take long to cook, usually about five to seven minutes. But to keep its integrity, I'm going to put it in the oven. Now we're going to work on our sauce. This is a cream based sauce. First, we will add some onion. A little bit of onion. That's about a couple tablespoons. We will add about a teaspoon of shallot. We do a lightly salt and pepper that as well. Lightly, we're going to get nice good caramelization on there. Put that a couple times. We're going to make a nice cream sauce with it. We're going to add a pat of butter at the end. 
So we're going to deglaze with some tarragon vinegar. See our onions have come to a nice brown caramelization there. And here we deglaze. Oh yeah, all the goodness from the pan and the brown bits are coming together. So now we'll add a little bit of chicken stock. We're going to let that reduce down. Let that reduce down to concentrate the flavor. Okay. Welcome to love. And with the shrimp, we're going to add that in at the last minute when we reintroduce the salmon to there. So what we'll do now is that reduce down a little bit. Add a little bit of heavy cream. The heavy cream, we'll turn that down a little bit. We don't want to scorch the pan or the milk. We're going to add a few capers. Capers are wonderful little berries. With a nice pungent, tangy, acidic type flavor. Okay, so now we'll grab the salmon. And introduce it back in to the pan. And we'll add the shrimp. Those only take a couple minutes. We'll turn this down a little bit. Look at that. Very nice sauce right there. Put the shrimp around, get those nice and cooked. You don't want to cook your shrimp too long, they'll become tough, and that's how most people do. They never get the real true essence of the shrimp. It tastes like rubber. That's no good. <laughs> Not at all. So our broccoli wrap is ready to come out. Introduce it to a nice. Actually, we're not going to introduce it. It seems nice and cooked. We added our salt. We'll just add a little bit of pepper. The bright colors are just popping off. And we're getting ready to plate. Anytime. And here we have it my final product the Alaskan salmon. The broccoli rave, sauteed the salmon, first marinated in citrus with a polenta base with our shrimp on the side. Bon appetit. Ooh, wee. <laughs> Good. I'm rolling now.